Hello and welcome to IntelliCam. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how I created the tool path for the Indian carving that's on the front of the IntelliCam website. So first thing I do is I load the file. So it comes in in stage one of a seven stage process. I'm going to change the dimensions to fit my material. And I'm machining just the top of it as a 3D relief on my IntelliCam CNC router. Apply. And then click Next. So in the second stage, I'll set my material size. I'm using a piece of butternut that is 6 inches wide. And I'll cut it out of a piece that's 12 inches long and the wood is about an inch thick. The Z0 is going to be on the top and my X0, Y0 I'll put it on the upper right corner. Those will be the settings for on the IntelliCAM machine when you're starting the job. I'm going to leave a half of an inch around the object and when I click apply you can see that the object is now sitting within the material. I'm going to move it slightly below the surface of the material. Now, I don't need to add tabs because I'm just going to cut the piece out. So when I click apply, click next, now we'll begin tool pathing. So the, uh, the rough tool path is what we'll create first. And I'm using a uh, not a quarter inch, but I'll use an eighth of an inch ball nose. And the defaults are okay, except because it's a rough tool path, I'm going to increase the step over so it hogs out more material each pass. The tool path parameters are fine, Z level strategy is good, and now I'll calculate the tool path. So here's the tool path calculated out. The blue is the actual where the tool cuts through material, and red is where it's traveling between sections. Hit next, and we'll go to the fish finishing tool path. In the finishing tool path, I'm going to also use the same eighth of an inch ball nose. And these are all the default parameters. I'm fine with those. On the tool path, I'm going to machine it at 45 degrees. And I'm going to create an extra tool path at 90 degrees to, uh, to clean up um, all the little um, wood fibers that are released from just the first tool path. Just saves, uh, saves you having to do excess sanding at the end of the job. Alright, and there's my finishing tool path, which is quite dense. And I'll go to the next. Um, in fact, for this job, you probably, uh, it's a fine enough tool path that you won't have to do any sanding of the, uh, of the job. Okay, I'm going to create a cutout tool path, and I'm again using the same eighth of an inch ball nose cutter. Um, I changed on here. I'm having it cut a bit deeper than the material uh, so that there is no kerf left. And then we'll hit that and it'll calculate the tool path. There it is. Okay, finally then I can uh, do a preview of the, uh, of the tool path. And I start with the roughing tool path. Um, Vectrix, uh, this is cut 3D software and uh, Vectrix uh, simulations are really very excellent. And what you see is, is uh, what, you, what you'll get. So if you don't like the, the uh, simulation, there's something wrong, you should start again before you actually cut it. Okay, and then I'll do a cut out of the tool path. And uh, I can delete uh, the waste material and then just have the, the finished object. And I'm pretty happy with that. 
Um, I could change, say, uh, if I was cutting it out of cherry, that's what the simulation would look like. My material is probably closer to oak, so it should look a little bit more like that. Alright, and the uh, final stage is saving the tool path. So, because I'm using the same eighth of an inch ball nose, I can save it all as a single file, and the uh, post processor, I'm using an IntelliCam CNC router, and, uh, and I'm using uh, it in inch mode. So I'll save this to a single tool path. Let me call that India Carving. It's an NC file, it's a G code file. And so I save that file. Now the IntelliCam controller is looking for new files, so that file will automatically come up and it'll be ready for machining on the IntelliCam CNC. So for uh, curiosity, I've opened up the file. This is the G-code. Uh, it's about a 9.5 megabyte file. There's no limit to how big a file can be uh, on the uh, IntelliCAM machine. Uh, and if having a look here, you can see that this file is almost 250,000 lines long. 240,000 lines long, so it's a huge file and that was generated just in uh, really in seconds. So a quick review. You uh, seven stages. You bring it in, change the size of the model. The uh, second stage is having the, the uh, model, the material match your model uh, and setting your uh, start positions and your Z0s for the CNC machine and then a roughing tool path, a finishing tool path, and finally a uh, cutout tool path, and then a simulation of the model, and then saving it and sending it to the IntelliCAM machine. Thank you for watching. You can visit our website at www.intellicam.com.